I call this the Whoa Noob. Yo, what is down, everyone? Welcome back to another money making video. Today, we're going to be working on the game some more. And as you see here, yeah, there's there's pets. These are going to be the pets in the game, you know. It's just sort of like a way to make money, you know. There's going to be a shop, there's going to be cases. And originally, in my other episode, uh, a few episodes ago actually, I made a. It, it's pretty much like a treasure chest thing. And I made it so that dinosaurs come out of it, but I want to change that up and I want to make it more unique Like I don't want to use Roblox meshes because Roblox meshes I want to I want to make my own stuff and make it a little more creative and a little more more like myself So instead of making it so that you can unbox dinosaurs and stuff like that just random stuff I'm going to make it so that you can unbox noobs right now. I have this. Uh, what did I call this? I call this the whoa noob I call this the tongue, I'm, I'm gonna change it, tongue noob is a little weird. This right here is the no emotions noob, this right here is the evil noob, this right here is the up to no good noob, and this right here is just the happy noob. I even made a top hat, some glasses, and a cap. I have bubble particles, which I made in Illustrator. I have circles, and I have squares, and I, I have a lot of work to do on those. And I'm actually working on like the actual like coding for it. Um, if I come down here into starter GUI, and if I enable that, there's a little button here. It says button, but it does more than just being a button. Here we go, let's click it. Boom, it goes to you. And I use body gyro to make it face you, and I also use body position to make it follow you. Now, this is like very, very bad code right now. It's not even completed. And as you see when I stop, yeah, it sort of sticks to me. It's pushing, I'm not even moving. It's, it's, it, it is doing this. It's pushing me right now. So I do have a lot of work to do and I'm probably gonna do that this episode. So let's, let's look at the code. So yeah, here, um, I'm pretty sure I can make so that the noob doesn't push you anymore uh, in this line right here. So I mean, uh, this line right here, line 16. So right here, it pretty much, uh, it moves the noob with body position to the character's head. But we don't want that, we want it to move to the character's head, but back into the right a little bit. So we're going to do subtract vector 3.new because position is a vector 3 value. So let's do that position by, ooh, we may need to use, use look vector for this. We might have to do that, but for now, well, let's just try this. Um, 10, 10 comma 0 comma 0, I don't, I don't know. Here, let's try that. Let's see what that does. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work. I want, I want to make so that it follows you, like right here, and it follows your shoulder. But right now, it's staying in the same spot, and it's not, uh, it's not staying behind my shoulder. See, so if I turn like that, it is, it is there. But if I turn like that, it's not behind my shoulder anymore. It's beside. So we're probably gonna have to use the look vector for that. So let, let's try something. Okay, I forgot. So I'm on the wiki right now, and I'm looking at the look vector. Property, let's see, C frame not look vector, read only, okay. Oh, and it's a vector 3 value, so we don't need to change it to a vector 3. We can just leave it like that, and, um, the forward direction. So, I think, um, let's try times 10. And then let's maybe put that in brackets, I have no clue what I'm doing right now. I have no clue at all. Let's try it now. What the heck? Okay, um, that is definitely not correct. We got an error, line 16. Attempt to perform arithmetic on field look vector a nil value. Okay, so so it said that we can't use an arithmetic on a, a look vector. So we can't really use the subtraction. So I don't really, I have no clue how to do this. Wait a minute, I didn't even write the look vector of a part. Here, let, let's let's rewrite this. Owner dot character dot head dot c frame dot look vector. And then let's let's do multiply that by I think three. That will that right there I think will count as three studs. I think. Wait a minute, it's underlined in red. Oh, it's, it expected equal. Oh, because I, there's a, there's a thing here. Okay, um, I'm going to try and subtract again, but I don't I don't think it's gonna work. Let's try it out, and it did work. Oh, it did work. Nice. Now it follows me. Perfect. See, this is what I want. Now, if you stop, you're not getting pushed off the world by your your own friendly pets. So now it's actually friendly. It'll only make sense uh, if you get pushed off the world by one of like this guy or this guy because these guys are evil. Look at their faces. 
So yeah, that works. Now, you know, Robo Roblox is known for their crashes, so let's let's save this before anything happens. I save every single time I get something to work. I might be in studio for like 30 seconds, but if something if I do something and it works, I'm gonna save it. I don't even care how long I've been in there. 30 seconds isn't that long, but I save anyway. It works pretty well, but the thing is, it's sort of See when you click it, it's right behind your head, and I, I want it to be a little bit to the to the right, like on your shoulder here. So one thing that we could try is instead of using the head, we could try character. I think it, I think it's right arm. So we could try that instead. But the thing is, when you're standing still, your arm moves. You know that idle animation. So that might happen, and then your noob will move all around. And I don't really want that, but you know, I'll, I'll try it anyway. There we go. Let's try it. Okay, right arm is not a valid member of model. Okay, um, what is it then? It is a right arm. What the heck? Oh, I think it's because... Okay, this right here is... Wait, what line was that? 17, yeah, okay. See here, we move the pets thing. We move the pet to the... Uh, to face the character. And that's not what we're supposed to do because uh, we, we just need to do the pet.head dot position to the right arm of the character and that didn't work because there's oh that's the teleport oh yeah i didn't even show you that yet um that's a filtering enabled teleport which i made okay so yeah this is the problem when you walk <laughs> it follows your arm so now it moves like that but when you're i also said when you're idle and you do that little afk movement it follows that as well and that's that's not what i want so let's undo all of this there you go, that's good. Um, so, uh, we could try something else here. Let's also subtract. I think there was a right vector on the Wikipedia. Yeah, right vector, the right direction component of the C-frames orientation. Okay, so we could use this right here and we could also subtract that. So owner, we could just copy this code right here and we could change that with right vector. Perfect, this should work. Let's do it. Okay, this is, this is not what I wanted. Now he's now he's looking diagonal. I think it's the left vector. I'm not sure if there's a thing called left vector, but you know, if there's a thing called the right vector, there's probably gonna be a thing called the left vector. So let's try left vector. Okay. Apparently there is, isn't a thing called left vector. Okay, you know, that, that's not too big of a deal. I guess we could do right vector divided by three instead of multiplying by three. Let's try it now. Okay, now, now it's just in the center. What the heck? Negative three. I don't. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, it erred. Okay. See, it's right vector, so I'm guessing that needs to stay on the right side. So no matter what you divide by, it's always gonna stay on the right side, no matter what. We kind of need to use like left vector, but there is no such thing. We could try inverse, I guess. Here, let's let's parentheses these off, and then let's also do colon inverse. I don't. That might work. Hopefully, this works. If it does work, then that'll be good. If it doesn't. Okay, it's, uh, inverse is not a valid member of vector 3. How do we make it go onto the other side? We can't divide. We can't use inverse. Okay, let me see how it was, uh, when it wasn't over your shoulder. Okay, see, they see, that's not too bad. I don't, uh, see, like this. It <laughs> doesn't even look like you have a pet, though. That's the thing. If you want to take a selfie with your pet, your pet is going to be behind you, so. Ah, uh, wait a minute. If I, if I make this a plus sign instead of a negative, it should be on the other side. It should be. Please work, please work. It works. Wow. Okay, so the... Wow, that was, that was pretty easy. Okay, so I'm gonna change that, that down to two. Same with this right here. The thing is, I don't really want it facing your head because that's sort of weird. Your pet is staring at you 24-7. That's a little creepy. Um... So I might try and change some stuff up with the body guy row to fix it up. So I'm going to do uh, move the pet's head position to the character's head position. But I also want to add, I'm probably going to have to use look vector for this as well. So let's add some. Um, actually, I don't think I could use look vector for this. Let's just, let's just try and add some random vector threes. Oh man. Yeah, you see, since I didn't use look vector, it's sort of messed up it's not really looking at you anymore maybe instead of making it look at the character's head we can make it look at the character's look vector the character's head's look vector 
And we could... Yeah, we could just leave it like that, maybe. I think that this will work. I think so. Let's try it. Okay, that is not what I expected. Let's try and multiply it by random numbers, see what that does. Yeah, okay, that did not do anything. Uh, I'll just leave it as head dot position. You know what, before I try and do something else, I'm going to try and toss this in. And instead of changing this, the thing that it's looking at, I'm just gonna add it like, I'm gonna make a new line thing. Okay, that's, that kind of worked a little bit, I think. Let's multiply it by five and see what that does. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's multiply it by like math.huge and let's see what that, that where that takes us. And it disappeared, okay, math.huge is a little too big. Let's multiply it by a hundred. There we go. Now it completely faces in front, perfect. And I, I want to move it a little bit back to the left because it's kind of off now, see? There's all this white space here. So maybe by one stud? Let's try it now. Okay, see, see that's a little better. Let's save that, you know, I, I never trust Roblox Studio. Okay, I think I'm done with the coding of that noob for now. In probably off camera, I'm going to try and learn how to weld everything together. It's not too difficult. It's only like maybe 30 lines to do. I know it uses the loops, welding, and I, I, I already have a little bit of knowledge of how to do it. It's just that I, I forgot. So I'm probably gonna do that off camera. But for now, we do have a few things here. We have the noobs, we have the hats, we have the particles. And I kind of want to work on maybe like one more face and then I'll wrap up this episode. But if you do have any ideas for a face, then make sure to tell me in the comments below. You can, you can like describe it or if it's a Roblox face, for example, like this face right here. This is a Roblox face. It's, it's just the letter P and then two colons. If you want me to make a Roblox face, then you, you can just tell me and I'll make it. Okay, so I have an idea for a face, and it's going to be that really happy noob, you know, the one with the the colon and then the capital D. I'm gonna do that one. So I'm gonna use the tongue noob because I sort of have the D already made. For me, it's just a smaller version. So I'm just gonna resize that down, make sure that's aligned. There you go, okay, I just shrunk the P down. Now we... Ah, oh, this is gonna be a little weird. You know, I, I might keep it the same size as this right now. It's gonna be a really small mouth. There you go. <laughs> okay, um... Probably gonna edit it a little bit. Maybe try and center it. I should probably redo this. Yeah, I'm just gonna redo it. Okay, um... Here we go. We have the top of the mouth. Uh, now we need to tilt everything else. This is gonna be a little... A little difficult. I'm gonna use the Build V4 plugin with the C-frame tool. And I'm going to press R to make so that you can select a point to rotate around. So I'm, I'm gonna choose that point to rotate around and probably gonna go with maybe 15. There you go, that's not too bad. For this one, I'm gonna rotate it 30. So I, I already did 15 before that and then I just did another 15. And this is looking a little, uh, a little iNubi quality. iNubi quality is pretty bad quality. It's like dollar store quality. There you go. Looks pretty bad, but it's okay. Someone in the game will probably like it. I just need to fill gap that little gap right there. So let, let's use a plugin gap fill. Let's do this. Okay, that fit is not very good. That is not a very good fit. I'll probably just manually fix it up honestly it doesn't look too good but i guess it's like it's it's not too big of a deal you know like the edges the vertices are a little messed up but hey that's gonna be how they are so yeah i'm gonna end the episode here if you enjoyed this make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to recommend some noobs some noob hats some particles for the noobs then make sure to leave it down in the comments below i will really appreciate that so yeah, see you later.